Hello, I've gotten a few requests from people asking me how to draw, and this is something I can definitely help you guys out with. I'd just like to start this off by thanking anyone who sent in some art. I think it's so cool that you guys would take some time out of your day to draw something for me, uh, so the least I can do is showcase some of your work. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is pick a program to draw with. Does it matter which program you use? Probably, but honestly, you could even use Microsoft Paint and make it work if you're talented. I personally think it's a deeply underrated program, but I'm also not gonna lie, some of these programs get a little pricey, so, uh, I think GIMP is free, so, I don't know, you could use that if you want. There are a couple ways you could approach this. As you can see through this graph here, uh, way 1 is not so cool, way 2 is okay, but the other way is very cool, so I'm gonna be picking the very cool way. Anyways, so the first thing you wanna do is think of something to draw. I think for the sake of the video, I'm gonna keep it a surprise and let you guys guess along the way. So a tablet is a pretty decent way to draw digitally. You could use your mouse, but you'll probably definitely get Carpal Tunnel, and you'll never be able to play badminton again. Uh, you'll also have carpal tunnel, so just keep that in mind and remember to take breaks. Myself, personally, I actually don't need to use a tablet because I know magic and can transfer data through my hand, but I'm still working on it. Okay, so first try to get a few basic shapes down. This is gonna help you make the actual drawing. Consider this like uh, some kind of sketch map, if you will. Okay, cool, we've got our basic shapes down. Now we're just gonna draw the actual thingy over this now. Excellent. This is some pretty good art. I'll just skip ahead to when I'm done. Colors is what brings the image to life, however, so that's what we're gonna be doing now. Here's a tip. Just don't draw all your stuff on the same layer, okay? It'll get really messy, and then you'll try to fix it, but you'll accidentally erase something you didn't want to erase. It's just a mess, okay? Just don't do it. Okay, now that you've colored your stuff, you're gonna wanna go the extra mile and play with the lighting. You know, like shadows and light and stuff. Something I found online is that if you're shading, it's better to shade with multiple thin layers than one big layer with a number four pencil. Uh, do I know if this applies to digital drawing? No, am I gonna follow that rule? Probably not. Okay, now that we've done all that, I'm just gonna add a background and that should just about do it. So just export your file and stuff. It doesn't matter what file you save it as, but I like PNG because PNG sounds cool. And that's pretty much how you draw. Before I go, I just wanted to quickly say, for those of you who are wondering where they could find a download of the track from the last video, I have a link in the description of this video and last video where you can go download it for free. Bandcamp is a little weird though. Uh, I set it to free, but they make you manually input zero dollars when you're downloading the track, so just be aware that, just be aware of that. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Okay, bye.